I'm first alert meteorologist Don Maher should see a good amount of sunshine as our Monday goes on. We may see some clouds begin to mix in late morning, early afternoon as low pressure off the coast tries to spin some clouds back our way. I think the further east and southeast you go, the more clouds you're going to run into as the day goes on. It will turn breezy with a north northeasterly wind at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. That will make it feel a bit cooler out there as temperatures this afternoon top out in the lower to middle 40s. The winds will get a bit lighter as the evening goes on. Skies will become partly cloudy as we head on into the overnight as we dip down into the mid to upper 20s. More clouds than sun tomorrow. Breezy, maybe the chance for a shower. Looks like the better chance for showers, though. That will come Wednesday into Thursday as we get a little bit milder with daytime highs in the lower 50s. Perhaps a leftover shower on Friday. That's check your forecast. Amanda has a look at your headlines. Don, thank you. Good morning. I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The murder trial for the Westfield man accused of stabbing his then girlfriend to death is set to begin today. In January of 2019, Westfield police found 20 year old Alexis Avery dead from apparent stab wounds. 23 year old Blake Scanlon was taken into custody and has been awaiting trial ever since. In 2021, Scanlon was arraigned again after police say he recruited a fellow inmate to arrange for someone to murder the prosecutor and the key witness in the case. Opening statements are set to begin at 9 this morning at Hamden Superior Court. The Secretary of Housing and Livable Communities, Ed Augustus, will tour the Mixed Income North Commons at Village Hill in Northampton today. He's expected to discuss how the Affordable Homes Act can support middle-income families. The act signed by the governor seeks to make housing more affordable and accessible to families of all income levels. His tour will begin at 9.45 this morning. At least five families are without a place to live after a fire in West Springfield over the weekend. According to the fire department, there was significant damage to five or six units of the building. No injuries were reported. Those families are being assisted by the Red Cross.